Kayla, please like and subscribe. Okay, um, so ho today's Holativity is brought to you by an account named Maverick X. I couldn't DM him, so uh, he's gonna get surprised and- Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> so, um, he, I'm actually going to read you a little story that I feel like I ran across it and I loved it. And so it is the lesson of the eagle and the crow. The only bird that dares to peck an eagle is a crow. The crow sits on the eagle's back and bites his neck. The eagle does not respond nor fight the crow. It does not spend time or energy on the crow. Instead, he just opens his wings and begins to rise higher in the heavens. The higher the flight, the harder it is for the crow to breathe. And eventually the crow falls off due to a lack of oxygen. Learn from the eagle and don't fight the crows, just keep ascending. They might be along for the ride, but they'll soon fall off. Do not allow yourself to succumb <laughs> to distractions. Keep your focus on the things above. Keep learning, growing, and rising. Yeah, that's very, very good. That's, I, that's yeah, it was my favorite tweet I ran across. Actually, this morning I had somebody else completely like ready, but there was just something about this story that just really stood out to me because I feel like, you know, we we do some sometimes, you know, fight with the crow when it's not even needed. They they do tend to go away after time. And I mean, being on X uh, through this crypto journey as long as I have, I've noticed that I've noticed that all the people who have, you know, came there for something for whatever reason, they turned against it they hammered it home to like anybody who wanted to listen and now they're gone but then you just start to it's like a cycle like i i feel like i've been through this cycle that we're in currently already once or twice actually yeah. and i'm just like okay you know i i did tend to let people get to me and stuff and i i'm like okay this is just a repeat of what happened you know six months ago or a year ago you're going to get through this like you've gotten through all the others so you know time is it's it's kind of undefeated in that way because now like you said going through it again but you know yeah. you got at least three guys sitting at this screen with you that's got your back no matter what ride but or die have you ever noticed that <laughs> yeah, yeah for real you know i mean people really? say that a lot but do they really mean it well with the three or with the four of us that's definitely the yeah, case absolutely. but yeah. have you ever noticed the older we seem to get the less friends we seem to have yeah and i think that goes right along with the tweet that you're just talking about and it's it says are you really ride or die and are you going are you there for, what why are you here what because there's a motive and it that motive may just be love right i mean it could be for all the right reasons or it might just be because hey i felt like maybe i was going to get some breadcrumbs or something like that you know whatever we're talking mm, about yeah. but yeah i i love that i think that's 100 percent true and I can remember when I was in my younger years, how much time and energy I wasted on the crow. Yep. So yeah. dumb. If I had to do it all over again, that's one of the lessons I would love to have not had to learn and just yep. not wasted energy on the crow. So. And, and the crazy thing is, is that this, I think this story really stands out because I was like you, I wasted way too much time on the crow. Mm -hmm. And now looking back and I'm like, wait, who was that? You know, I have no yeah. idea because it came and gone, right? And so now this is a lesson that I'm trying really hard to instill in my daughter. Um, yeah. High school's rough, right? Yeah. And so you're yeah. not gonna get along with everybody, which I feel like X is so much like high school. And so- Junior high I, probably. Yeah, I do <laughs> scenarios and I talk about them with my daughter. Well, this happened to me, you know, what is what would a good response be? And like Mally, my daughter is the one that's saying no response is the best response. Good, so, dude. yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, OK, I'm doing something right. She's listening to me because yeah. that's what I try to instill in her. 
is people will value you for who you are, not the things you have, Eventually. not the what you say. Yeah. yeah. And so like, like, and I just keep telling her, you know, these high school people are going to be a thing of the past. Just give it time. Mm -hmm. You're almost done. And you'll see when you move on to college, how many people are you actually still talking to from high school? Like I have probably three or four that I talk to not even on a regular basis, maybe two of them for sure that I talk to on a regular basis, but that's it. If you don't count Caleb, then there's two others <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? That's kind of like the same thing. And, and I've had this conversation. I'm, most people know that I coach high school girls basketball. So I've, and I, and I have in active in other youth things, but one of the things I talked to about that is also when it comes to dating, it's sort of the same thing. Like there is something that initially attracts you to that person, <laughs> but at some point you are spending time with what makes that person and not yep. maybe the physical part of it. And, you know, I've had people before come to me. It's like, I just don't know about this and blah, blah, blah. I was like, let me ask you something. If you could do anything in the world and one of the options was sit on the couch and watch TV with this person, would that even be a choice that you might consider? And if they mm -hmm. say yes, hey, you're with the right person. You yeah. Know? But if no, then, okay, yeah, is it just infatuation like Greg just said, or is there more to it than that? So, but time and truth, you know, I got a guy that I know and I respect greatly. He said, it's like train tracks. Eventually it's going to show you, you know, it's, it's, it's time and truth is going to be, it's undefeated. And I love that. I love that tweet. I really do. I'd heard that story before, but I, I do like that because it's so true. Yeah. We've never heard that story. A wise before. old man like, told me that once. Mm -hmm. I love it. I like yeah. literally, you know, I, I saw it and I even sent it to my daughter and just said, just, just read this. And yeah. he was like, oh, that's a good story. You know, it was just like, <laughs> like whatever. But I think she gets the gist of it. I mean, if you yeah. don't, then sorry. And that's, <laughs> why, that's why we're still all yeah. on X. Right for those right. sort of things. So let's give uh, Maverick a round of Maverick. applause. Yes. Maverick. Yeah, Maverick. Maverick. Maverick X. I'm Caleb. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>